Hi, it's Paul here at Dapper Rocks. In this video, we're going to take a look at the snap selector and also the difference between beats and steps. So the snap selector you can pick up in a few places. The main one, or the global one, is at the top of the, the main screen. Now this one can, can, if you want it to, take control of other the, the, the snap on other screens. So, for instance, we've got the piano roll here has a snap selector, the playlist has a snap selector here, and there's another screen called the event editor which also has a snap selector. So you can control the snap locally from these local screens or fr from the uh, main sele snap selector or global control here. And just to illustrate that, uh, if we look at this uh, piano roll here, that's divided up into eighth notes at the moment. If I change this to bar, for instance, uh, and change this to main, which means follow the global control, you see that it's changed in the piano roll. If I change it to half a beat, it changes again. So it's being controlled by uh, this main selector versus being controlled locally. So that's the first thing to understand. The next thing to look at is what is the difference between the various selections that you can make from the snap. So the top one, as I've already said, simply means follow the main um, snap selector in the main menu. The next one line just means, um, let's uh, zoom in on this a little bit. This one just means put the note closest in in the at the start of the cell closest to where the pencil goes so I'm closest to li this line here so it goes there now if I move move my pencil closest to the next line it will go in the following cell so that's not too difficult to understand uh, if we come down to the next one cell it just means that when I click with my pencil it's just got to go in the cell that my pencil is over so I'm not inviting the software to guess which cell that I really want it to be in so there I could put it there if I put it right towards the back of the cell it still goes in that cell because that's what I've selected next one is none so that means no snap at all so if you watch I put my pencil at the back of this cell here and that's exactly where the note goes so you're not trying to snap if you use that control. No snap at all. So the next question is what is the difference between beats and steps and I think this is what a lot of uh, newbies stumble on. They're not quite sure about what the difference is. Beats and steps are just ways of dividing up musical bars into smaller time intervals. So uh, beats being more equivalent to what you find in typical uh, musical notation. Steps is more applicable to uh, electronic music where the, um, the software can play notes much more quickly than a human being can. So look at the piano roll here and you can see between two and three we've got a whole bar with nothing in it. Um, normally in 4-4 four, four time, or if it was 4-4 four, four time you get four beats to the bar so one, two, three, four that's four beats to the bar so if we click on this and put beats in you see it divides these bars up into four divisions uh, indicating four beats if we go to the half beat it's eight divisions if we go to a quarter beat it's 16 divisions if we go to a third beat it's 12 divisions and if we go to a sixth beat it's 24 divisions. Now if we start looking at steps what we find is if we go to one step it chops it up into one quarter beats which is the same as quarter beat. One step is the same as a quarter of a beat so they, those two look exactly the same but as we do divide it up more then we can get finer time intervals so that a half step um, doesn't initially show actually I've got to zoom in to see that there we are and so what you can see now is 32 time divisions if I come in to a quarter step I've got again I've got to zoom in to see it zoom out rather to see it but now I've got 64 time divisions 16 16 16 and 16 if I come in again and pick up a third of a step I get 48 time divisions 
and if I come in one more time and pick up one sixth of a step I get 96 time divisions between 2 here and 3 over there. One bar equals 96 time divisions. A lot more than the average musician can play. A key tip that I don't want to forget to give is how to get around the snap temporarily and move uh, notes to non-snap locations and also to change the uh, note lengths to, uh, to avoid snapping as well. So here is a note uh, that's fitted perfectly within the cell. If I want to try and move it part way along this, the the cell, which, which I just I just tried to do without success, it it won't go to where I want it to go because the snap is on. If I hold the Alt key down, it temporary. Wish I hadn't have chosen that inst instrument. It temporarily turns off the snap. And similarly, in terms of note length. If I want to put the note to an awkward length or an unusual length, hold down the Alt key and that, that lets me change the note to any length I want uh, without um, using the snap or, or without having the snap interrupt what I'm doing. So remember that Alt key helps you make those changes. And finally, just to illustrate the point, here is something that's using one sixth of a step or 96 time intervals per bar. And this is what it sounds like. I hope that's helpful. If it is, please do give us a like and subscribe because we're adding uh, FL Studio tips all the time and it helps other people to find us. So good luck with everything and thank you very much for listening.